This is the perfect time of year for this quick and easy heart trim project. You can see these are all the same trim. I just use different types of yarn. And as usual, I put them out there so that you can get a feel for what to expect depending on the yarn that you use. So for example, this size right here is your classic Aunt Lydia's size 10 crochet thread. And then this right here is your recycled silk material. It's a super fine lace weight, size zero or one typically. That particular yarn is a hand spun, so it has a very organic kind of cottage look and feel to it. This is your standard worsted weight, super inexpensive, easy to find acrylic yarn. And then this is a worsted weight, more evenly spun, recycled silk fabric. And even though it's a worsted weight, it's a little thicker and a little bit of a heavier yarn than say this worsted weight acrylic. Yo, my name is Sig and it's such a pleasure to have this time with you today. Your support that allows me to contribute new content and weekly videos. Help us grow together by tapping the subscribe bar, notification bell, and like buttons. I look forward to your comments and always value your feedback. Now let's get started. So for today's quick and easy heart trim, you're going to want to crochet multiples of eight plus one. Now for those of you who are unfamiliar with this terminology, it basically means that for each heart you would like to crochet on your, on your trim, you're going to want to crochet eight chain stitches. And once you've gotten as many multiples of eight chains crocheted, then you're going to crochet one more additional chain stitch. So for example, I'm going to do three hearts today to show you how this works. And so I'm going to count 24 chains. That's my multiple of eight. Three times eight is 24. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. And then since it's multiple of 8 plus 1, I'm going to chain an additional chain, giving me a total of 25 chains. Then the next thing I'm going to do is a treble. Now, I'm working with U.S. stitch terminology or abbreviation. So a treble stitch, a U.S. treble stitch, is going to be two yarn overs on my hook. So like a double crochet would be a one yarn over. This is a treble crochet, so it's going to be a two yarn over, at least in U.S. terminology. And then I'm going to skip three chains from my hook, and I am going to insert my hook into the fourth chain from the hook. And then I'm going to work my treble. I'm going to do a second treble. Then I'm going to chain two. And then I'm going to crochet a single crochet still in that same chain. And then I'm going to chain two again. And then I'm going to put two more treble crochets in that same stitch. And then in, I'm going to skip three chains. I'm going to insert my hook into the fourth chain. And I'm going to crochet a slip stitch. Just like that. And now right now it doesn't look like much, but this is actually the top of my heart. And I, I understand it looks a little sloppy. It doesn't look like this is going to work out at all, but hang tight, hang with me. And you'll be surprised at how well it actually does work out by the time you're finished with the process. So again, I'm going to do my next set of trebles. Okay, so I'm going to yarn over my hook twice. I'm going to skip the next three chains and insert my hook into that fourth chain. And then I'm going to work my treble. And then of course my other treble, my next treble in that same stitch. I'm going to chain two. 
I'm going to single crochet in that same stitch. I'm going to chain two again. And then I'm going to do two more trebles in that same stitch. And again, I'm going to skip the next three stitches and I'm going to insert my hook into that fourth stitch and I'm going to make a slip stitch. And then again, I'm going to yarn over twice and I'm going to insert my hook in the fourth stitch from the last stitch. And then I'm going to do another treble crochet into that same stitch. I'm going to chain two and then single crochet in the same stitch. And I'm going to chain two and again treble in that same stitch. And treble again. Then I'm going to slip stitch in that fourth chain from my last stitch that I worked. And that will be also my last stitch. And then I'm going to chain one. And I'm going to continue, but on the other side of the base chain, Then I'm going to double crochet back here into that same stitch that we worked originally. I'm going to do three double crochets. Then I'm going to chain one. And then I'm going to do a treble crochet. I'm going to chain one. And then I'm going to do three more double crochets, all in the same stitch. And then I'm going to come here, and what I'm going to do is I am going to slip stitch. But the way I'm going to slip stitch is I'm actually going to take my hook and I'm going to bring it over the top of the work, right there in the center. And I'm going to do a nice tight slip stitch. And then I'm going to go ahead and do a chain. So this is what you'll have. You'll have your first heart finished. And then I'll go and do my next heart. So again, three double crochets. Then you're going to want to chain one, then a treble stitch, all in the same stitch. And then a chain one. And then three more double crochets. I'm going to go and we're going to Take the hook and put it over the top of the work. So it's like cinching or pinching a single crochet plus a chain right there into that. And this is what that should look like for you. So it just kind of cinches that middle part down between the two hearts. And then one more time. I want three double crochets. chain one, a treble crochet, and then a chain one, and then three more double crochets. Then I'm going to count over four stitches.
and I'm going to finish off. And now you have a row of three hearts. Until we meet again, I'd just like to say to all you wonderful fiber artists, stay safe, stay amazing, and above all, stay crafty. Bye-bye now.